we met initially on Match.com. That had been around, it was, I think, 1998. I was going to Texas Women's University at the time, doing my master's, and it was a women's university, so I didn't think there was a whole lot of opportunities to meet men. So I thought Match.com might be a useful tool. So I filled out the profile, and he was one of a couple of profiles that popped up as a match for me. And so I started emailing, and we started talking uh, a few emails in, like the third email. Um, I asked him, where do you go to church? And he said, Preston Christ Church. And I was like, huh, that's where I go. Why haven't I seen you? He said, well, you know, I'm on business a lot, and I travel. Um, I was like, okay. So we talked quite a bit more, and then we talked on the phone for a long time. And then he asked me out. And we met face to face. Now remember, this was back before you could upload pictures. That was so really when I saw her. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> and to be clear, I got her on my free trial. Yeah, he always likes to point that out. I literally was surfing the internet at home, and there was a pop-up ad. Uh, you know, you could meet singles in your area, and I traveled all the time at the time, and I had just moved to Dallas, so I was like, eh, what the heck? So I clicked on it, and I said, you know, fill out this short profile thing. So I did, and uh, most of the profiles didn't have pictures back then, and so you just had to read profiles. So I, I read, I don't know, a dozen, and I saw hers. I was like, she sounds cool. So on my profile, what I wrote about was basically just general statistics like you know uh age gender um do you have kids have you been married before she's a scientist so. yes i know and uh, and uh then you just gave like a brief personal statement or personal summary about yourself and you know what what you like to do and what makes you you um maybe what, what your job was currently. Um, I think they even asked like height and weight maybe. No, and, you know? and that's for like Oh, how do you describe yourself? Yeah, and it was like, you know, athletic thin well, Right, that's like what that. it was. Yeah. yeah, they were you had to kinda of describe if you're like yeah, sedentary, athletic or kind of in between. So mine of course was you know, super muscular, really tall, um, very serious. We had our first date uh, at a bar in um, downtown Dallas, and we had such a great time. He asked me out for the very next day, and I said, well, maybe if you go to Easter Sunday service with me on Sunday. So I went out with him again on Saturday, and I met his two brothers that night as well. And then Easter Sunday service, we met up at the church we were going to, and just happened that both my parents were in town and his parents were in town, and so we met each other's parents on the third date. Essentially, the third day we were together. So by Monday, done deal. I was diagnosed with cancer. We had been together for about a year and we had gotten really close at the time already. And we, we pretty much knew at the time, I think that we were probably gonna get married eventually. During that time, um, when I found out, uh, Steve flew back immediately and he was out of town on business. It was a really rare form of uterine lamar sarcoma, uterine cancer, it was a stage four. And I told Steve at the time, I was like, you know, listen, I don't know if I'm going to be alive in the next few years. Even if I am, I won't be able to have children. So I completely understand if you want to, you know, leave and, and go find someone else. But he said, no, I just want you to survive. I love you and you can stay with me no matter what. So. He stayed with me, and I thought, well, he's a keeper. I think I should marry him.
So the first six years we were married, we were apart for you because of deployments and training. Once 9-11 happened, uh, I re-enlisted, went through officer training. Uh, while I was going through officer training, I had a really bad uh, car crash in a military vehicle. We were crushed by an 18 wheeler. There's a movie where the lady gets a call in the middle of a live fire. I got one of those calls. It was really, really super scary. Well, there was no fire when we first started talking on the set. <laughs> but there, there quickly became fire. So yeah, it was, it was pretty scary, but I was, I was kind of glad I was doing my PhD because I was really focused at the time on that and it kind of allowed me a little bit of an escape because I wasn't constantly around thinking about what was going on with him. Um, but when he came back, there was a, a lot of adjustment um, from you know being deployed. When I met Steve online, I really didn't have high hopes that I would have a a match so quickly and for us to grow close together so quickly was pretty shocking especially to find somebody who was so supportive and so close to the match to myself was was amazing i think the perception at the time was oh you must be you must be really desperate or or socially awkward if you need to go online to meet people but in fact, I think your mom was embarrassed at first. <laughs> she did. She was like, "Don't have to say that you're murdered." Oh, she said that. No. <laughs> yeah. So, at our wedding, my mom definitely didn't want the preacher, who was actually my uncle, to say that we met on Match.com. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> She's awesome, though. She is great.